ladies and gentlemen, Dick Cavett. Please, stop. Oh, you did. No, that isn't necessary. I don't require that. Try coming in here not applauding, though, some night. See how long you last. <laughs> no, they, they, sometimes they flash an actual sign, I'm told. No, I mean, when we get a bunch of people in here that they... Hey, here, here's some cards that people in our audience filled out, people at home. Is this show staying on the air? <laughs> yes, this show is cool. So is tomorrow night. So after that, um, anybody do. Dear Dick, why don't you ever come without a suit on stage? I mean, just dungarees and a sweatshirt. How about sandals? When are you going on vacation? <laughs> Love, Linda. As soon as my sandals and dungaree come back from the laundry. All right, I will some night. Dear Dick, this card is loaded. The show is about to be hijacked. <laughs> it's not the card that's loaded, it's uh, the person who wrote it. Eh? Have you ever considered a career as a center for a professional basketball team? <laughs> This is written by John of Springfield. I would, I, I would probably not be good at that, John. Uh, uh, maybe no better than you are as a joke writer. <laughs> Have you ever considered telling jokes on your show? <laughs> this is signed K. Guess what, K? We're fixing you up with John. Uh, <laughs> oh. You're already together, I see. I have a question for Jermaine Greer. Tough luck, I'm Dick Cavett. <laughs> She's out later. There are a bunch of guys sprawled in the stairwell next to your theater with ragged clothes and no shoes passing a paper bag back and forth. <laughs> no, they all got here. <laughs> Who are they? I don't know. Hope it isn't the President's Council on Economic Guidelines or anything. Um, I want to ask you a very personal question about your sex life, Mr. Cavett. Yeah, that's tough luck. I'm Jermaine Greer. I can't answer <laughs> If a girl thinks she's in love, on which date do you think she should invite the boy up to her apartment? August 22nd. <laughs> what do you think about Fisher? What do you think about Fisher and Spassky? I'm not too up on that. I would venture a guess, however, that like most teams, they'll have a couple hit records, then split up. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> this is a two-part question, Mr. Cavett. When was the last time you had a night on the town? What did you do for fun? I went to a swinging nightclub and asked people to fill out these cards and <laughs> asked me questions that I was asked out. Have you ever been to Andrews, Indiana? Marilyn asks. I, I go there for a drink every night after the show. Uh, I live on a grand scale. No, I have not been to Andrews. Bill. <laughs> this is... Addressed to Bill. Have you ever heard of the BC band? Let us sing our school song. You should appreciate it. It's, tis, it's for Boston. Bill? That was, oh, yes, it is for Boston. That was the theme of the old Bill Cavett show. Remember that we used to have in the morning? How does it feel to be famous? I, I had to answer that one seriously on a chronologue. And I think, actually, if I may say so, I'm pretty good about it. Uh, it has not gone to my head. I, um... I don't feel that I'm better than the average person because of it. I'll talk to any jerk who comes along. <laughs> Could you say hello to Nina in Chicago, please? Actually, Nina called earlier, and uh, she left for Mexico for the weekend uh, with three sailors and a Doberman. And uh, <laughs> I don't want to worry. Who are you endorsing for the 72 election? Who are you endorsing for the 72 election? I will discuss that on the air uh, in November. I'll be glad to discuss anything on the air. <laughs> <laughs> November. Listen. Oh, thank you. That's fine. Oh, thank you. Ta-da! Let us... The, we'll do the rest of these later. Listen, Paul Simon is here, which is uh, very rare to have Paul. He's been here for a long time. Simon, <laughs> 